squat, bench and pull ups in this video. So with the squat I messed up a little bit and I hadn't looked at how much weight I was supposed to put on the bar before the workout. I thought it was 117 kilos for 8 sets of 4. But after 2 sets, with me thinking, damn this is heavy, um, I realised it was actually supposed to be 114, so I did 3 too many kilos for the first 2 sets. And I was pretty relieved when I found that out, because the idea of doing 8 sets with that weight was uh, pretty scary to me. So instead of doing the 8, I did the 7. I did seven because it's hard enough for me to recover from these high volume squat workouts anyway without throwing a load of extra intensity in there so I cut down the volume a little bit to account for that but this was the first set with the wrong weight and I think my form was pretty good considering it was heavy broke down a little bit as I found it harder and harder But I got them done. And I've noticed that my legs have got noticeably bigger since I've been doing this high volume squat workout. So hopefully that size will translate into top end strength when I start going for one rep maxes again. But I'm going to do a few cycles of 6x6, 7x5, 8x4 and 10x3. So the one coming up after this one will be the 10x3, which is kind of the crux of each, each part of the program, and uh, I'm sure that'll be bloody difficult. But here I realised I'd got the weight wrong, so I put the weight down a little bit. I was hoping this would feel a lot easier, but it didn't to be honest, still felt pretty damn hard. Form is reasonably good, but my knees are caving in a little bit. As I've said before, the good thing about doing so many sets and reps is that you can really work on your form. And when I started this program, my squats really needed it. So I've decided conclusively after my last video that I'm not going to train deadlifts for a couple of months and that's just because I know that when my squat is going up quickly with high volume that my deadlift won't so I've just got rid of deadlifts from my program and uh, instead of deadlifting I'll be doing extra cleans because I'd really like to have decent clean technique by the end of this year and the only way I'm going to do that is by doing them more frequently than I was I will keep doing pull ups so it's not like my back muscles won't be getting any work but um, I guess we'll see what happens so this I think is my fifth set of squats and this is the sixth as I said, I only did seven because I want to make sure I'm recovered for the 10 setter that comes up in a couple of days time. I've lost a little bit off my waist lately, which implies my body fat percentage has probably come down a little bit. Oh, sorry, that was the last set of squats. So that was the seventh one then. And then in bench, it's really positive in bench because I'm doing the same set and rep scheme. I started out doing 70 for 6x6, six six, and this time I was doing 78 for 6x6. Six six. So that's an 8 kilo improvement with a similar level of difficulty, which means that I've got a lot stronger in the bench doing this high volume stuff. So 
what I'm thinking I'll do when I eventually run out of progress doing all this volume is I'll do a kind of intensity block where I alternate between 5x5, five five, quite heavy, and um, something like 2x3 two or 3x2, working all the way down until I hit a true one rep max over time. So I'll do a big volume block, a bit like this, followed by an intensity block like that, which culminates in a one rep max. And then I'll use that one rep max to determine the loads for my new volume block. Sounds complicated, isn't really, but um, it's just me noticing that I need to alternate between blocks where I'm doing really high volume, slightly lower intensity, and high intensity, lower volume. I'm pretty sure doing this, my bench PR is going to be well over 110 kilos soon. And I can't wait for the time that I first rep out 100, given that 100 was such a grind not that long ago. I got my setup a bit better this time for bench as well, and I had a slightly wider grip than normal, which felt a bit more comfortable. So next time I bench, I'll be doing seven sets of five at 83 kilos. This is my penultimate set of bench. And this is the last one. I was expecting this to be really hard, this 6x6, but it really wasn't at all. I still felt like I had a fair bit of energy at the end of this. So you can see that last rep was a little bit of a grind, but nowhere near as hard as some of the reps I've done in the past. And I ended just with some kind of accessory work, just some very strict pull-ups, trying to keep my back arched. And I tried to keep my back arched so that um, the muscles at the top of my back, traps, lats, are um, engaged. So I did six in the first set and five in the second before my form broke down. But that's it. Thanks very much for watching and see you in a couple more days.